क्वेश्चन नंबर 176 स्केलेटल मसल इज कनेक्टेड टू बोन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एंड द ऑप्शंस गिवन आर टेंडन लिगामेंट्स हाइलाइन कार्टिलेज एंड इलास्टिक कार्टिलेज टेंडन कनेक्ट्स स्केलेटल मसल्स टू बोन व्हाइल लिगामेंट्स कनेक्ट बोन टू बोन सो करेक्ट आंसर टू आवर क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर 1 Let's move on to the next question. Question number one seventy seven. Choose the odd one with respect to neuroglial cells of the neural tissue, and the options given are: first option, they make up more than fifty percent of the neural tissue. This is the correct statement. Second option, they are involved in secretion of myelin sheath around axons of neurons. This is also a correct statement. Oligodendrocytes, which are a type of neuroglial cells, they secrete myelin sheath around axons in the central nervous system. Option three, primarily responsible for conduction and transmission of nerve impulse. This is an incorrect statement because impulse conduction is the function of neurons, not the neuroglial cells. Option number four. help in providing support and protection this is a correct statement so correct answer to our question is option number 3 let's move on to the next question question number 178 the most abundant and widely distributed tissue of the human body is and the options given are epithelial tissue muscular tissue skeletal tissue and connective tissue the most abundant and widely distributed tissue in the human body is connective tissue so correct answer to our question is option number 4 let's move on to the next question question number 179 the cells of a specialized connective tissue cartilage are called and the options given are chondrocytes osteoblasts osteoclast and fibroblast chondrocytes are cells of cartilage so correct answer is option number 1 let's see other options also osteoblast are the active cells of bone osteoclast are the bone eating cells and fibroblast secretes matrix and fibers correct answer to our question is option number 1 let's move on to the next question That is question number one eighty. You stretch in tube and epiglottis contain which type of cartilage? And the options given are hyaline, fibrous, calcified, and elastic. In you stretch in tube and epiglottis, elastic cartilage is present. Hyaline cartilage is present in nasal septum, end of long bones, tracheal cartilages, etc. Fibrous tissue is present in intervertebral disc and pubic symphysis. Calcified cartilage is present in suprascapula of pectoral girdle of frog. So, correct answer to our question is option number four. With this question, I would like to end zoology discussion of this test. I hope all your queries and doubts have been solved. Thank you very much for watching, and best of luck for your next exam.